King Charles III is putting some distance between himself and his family. The monarch is set to make his first public appearance this weekend since beginning his cancer treatment. However, he'll be doing it without his family at his side. The Telegraph reports March 29th that the 75-year-old is expected to sit apart from the main congregation at the Easter Matin service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, March 31st. The outlet goes on to say that this guidance was recommended by Charles's medical team to protect his health, and that while the king is set to attend the full Easter service, he is not expected to be present for a post-service reception or host lunch. A palace source tells The Telegraph that Charles' planned attendance at the Easter service is a, quote, sign of things heading in the right direction. Buckingham Palace has not yet confirmed which members of the royal family will attend the services this weekend. But in years past, Charles and Camilla were often joined by the king's sister, Princess Anne, and husband, Vice Admiral Sir Anthony Lawrence, as well as Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, and her daughters, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice. However, Prince William and Kate Middleton are not expected to attend amid the Princess of Wales' own cancer diagnosis and treatment. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla is planning to make history as the first consort to lead the traditional Easter ceremony as Charles continues his cancer treatment. And this isn't the first time Camilla has stepped up to fulfill her husband's royal duties in his absence. On March 29th, during the Royal Monday service, the 76-year-old went in Charles's place to distribute the Monday money, a gift to thank locals for making a difference in the lives of people in their communities. However, the king did express regret about not being able to attend in person in a pre-recorded audio message played during the service, as well as assuring everyone of his continued commitment to his royal duties. Ladies and gentlemen, it is for me a great sadness that I cannot be with you all today. The Maundy service has a very special place in my heart. This act of worship here in Worcester Cathedral reminds me of the pledge I made at the beginning of the coronation service, to follow Christ's example, not to be served, but to serve. That I have always tried to do and continue to do with my whole heart.